Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you so much for your great support that you always offer to this channel. Kindly consider to subscribe to Zion Kenya TV, like this video, share the channel and also drop your opinion at the comment section after you've watched the video. Ladies and gentlemen, there is ugly scene today in Narok when former Prime Minister Motoge have been blocked by the police officers so in this video that I'm sharing to you right now we are going to look or analyze what have made the police officers to block Raila Amolodinga second time again under whose instruction and what can be the reason behind this why government is doing this at this moment let us watch this video and then we are going to carry on with our analysis here is the video on what was happening at narok today why don't you you go ahead of us There's something that Kenya Kwanza government will not understand. That power is not permanent. Power comes and go. How many times Moi was a dictator, the late one? I'm sorry to say that. Now he's eight feet under the ground. It means, as I said yesterday, that sometimes we might clash as brothers and sisters but it reaches a time where we need to reconcile each other and that is what we call leadership again I ask myself the day that the Gatundu South MP attacked the police officers what did they do for him now it is very clear that the police officers are the one always creating chaos because that scene tells you that these police officers are the one who always try to intimidate Kenyans while demonstration and then Kenyans get annoyed then they start hugging and also shooting some are throwing stone back that is why Kenya will never be peaceful during demonstration so in this analysis on that video we've watched i want us to ever and analyze why did police officers 
blocks Raila Molo Dinga's uh, motorway. But before I do that, if this might be your first time you are watching me at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, I request you to click the subscription button and subscribe. In that next time when I upload you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the move on that video. One thing you are listening to that video, there is a stop confrontation, confrontation sorry, between police officers and Raila security and uh, the people of communication. Because I think Raila was having all his people under his administration. The communication people, the security, the cameramen and the rest. So, the, when he was going on his way to Narok, as I had seen and heard what happened, uh, the police officers confronted him and they told him that you were not supposed to get into the town. So that one brings us to first analysis that these people had seen that Raila move, Raila's move to town could have bring large crowd and make people in Kenya Kwanzaa to fear that he was easily going to convince them through his message that he was going to deliver there. So that might be the first move that police officers under someone instruction from the government didn't want and they decided to block it. Number two, as we know, Raila's move, the other yesterday was in Western Kenya, the same way Ruto was in Western Kenya. So this might not be fitting to the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Why? Because they are seeing Raila is following Ruto up and down, up and down. So they are seeing that maybe Raila is having something and target. After Ruto have convinced the people of Western, let's say for an example, Raila is going to dilute what Ruto have said. So maybe that is what Raila, uh, sorry, Kenya Kwanza does not want. His move might also bring this. And this ugly sin have been seen today. And that is why he has been blocked. He was blocked, sorry. Number three. That is a clear indication that there is fear in Ruto's camp from that video. Because Ruto might see Raila is easily being loved, influenced to the people, and can bring a large crowd within a second. So might bring fear that even if he calls the demos, then people can come out again in large numbers. Number four, that is provoke or a provoke from the government that they are trying to do for the, for the opposition leader. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder when and at what time are these people from Kenya Kwanza working for Kenyans? Because they keep on following the current opposition. They were supposed to leave the opposition to do their work. The man in opposition have a right to walk everywhere, to go everywhere. The same way the president, the deputy, uh, Kithure Kindiki, the rest and all cabinet CS, they have authority. What if, let's say, Moses Kuria was the one blocked by the police officers going to state function? How will it appear? So that is a clear indication that I think Kenya Kwanza is trying to create, is trying to create dictatorship, which should not happen at this moment in 21st century in Kenya. So that provokement they have to stop because it is as if they are showing Mother Rao hmm, that they are the one in power and this and that. And as a leader, you are not supposed to say that. We all condemn all the an evil thought which is being done by both government, even be it in opposition, or uh, the one running the government. So that movement of Raila is not fitting well 
to the Kenya Kwanza people. So that is why today they have decided to block him. Remember, this is not the first time. The second one was blocked in Nyanza. So I wonder who follows Raila movement. Because today he was having chopper at Narok. He was supposed to fly with the chopper, but he changed the route to use the road by the road means of transport. So I think these police officers had known all the communication. So they decided to do, do that under someone's instruction. Even if it is the, for the deputy president instruction or the president instruction or the OCPD in Narok. But I think you have followed some instruction from the top government official. But that is not a good move, yeah? That is not a good move. Then lastly, they were seeing that the diet of Raila could have emerged in large numbers while in Narok town. So that is why they decided not to allow Raila to access town. But at long last, the police officers, they talked and listened to each other, then he was actually ex escorted by the AP and the plus the police officers who were there in charge. But what can that one tell you? They were trying to gauge also the reaction of Raila Amolodinga on how he will react after that event. But that is that is sad part of this. Eh? I think they should know as I started that power is not permanent. Why? Why? At this moment, Ruto should have tried his best to fulfill the Kenyan's promises which he made in 2022 during his campaign regime. The same way to deputy. And they was not supposed even to look on what the oppos opposition is doing under his administration. Yeah? So that is what I'm seeing and that is what I've sensed from the video I've just displayed to you. So that is why these people, they did not want Raila to access and reach out to his supporters. Politicians are the same. Even uh, when we see Ruto here, he will go to Moja, he will go to Kisumu, and the same people in Kisumu will just welcome him. Diehards, the same way Ruto have diehards in Kisumu, the same way Raila have diehards in Eldoret. So, you should not consider this provocement no. and it is very bad actually so whoever blocked Raila Amolodinga that was not a good move because it was also on his function so ladies and gentlemen what can you say on that analysis of today after Raila's convoy have been blocked in Narok while proceeding sorry, to Narok town. That is what I had to share with you at this hour. I want to appreciate you so much. Continue supporting this, this channel by watching the videos. Like and also subscribe if you've never subscribed. Plus share this YouTube channel Zion Kenya TV. Bye bye. Till we hope to meet on another video. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. As I am eagerly waiting for your comment, your opinion at the comment section below. Bye-bye.